You're back on Solar News Day. We're still on Typhoon Glenda Watch. The typhoon was still powerful this morning as it passed Manila. It shuttered financial markets, government offices, along with businesses and schools. Let's now check on how Project NOAA tracked and monitored this typhoon and how much rain it dumped in its path. Here in the studio is Oscar Lizardo, Project NOAA's Chief Science Research Specialist. Hi, Oscar. Thanks. Thank you for joining us. Good afternoon, Mai, and thank you for inviting me here. Okay, so now, uh, first of all, how do we access Project NOAA and check on uh, how much rain Typhoon Glenda dumped in many areas here in Metro Manila and also along Southern Luzon? Okay, um, you can check uh, the website through, uh, through www.noaa.dost.gov.ph. Once you access that, you now have access to a lot of information. Now, the difference between us and Pagasa is Pagasa forecast the weather. Mm -hmm. We don't. We don't do that. However, what we do provide you is a visualization tool which will allow you to see uh, the bigger picture of what's, what mm -hmm. the effects mm -hmm. is on the ground. Mm -hmm. And real time. Uh, near real time. Mm -hmm. it, uh, you still have to give uh, time for the sending of the data. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it depends on what kind of data it is. It may be an hour and a half late, maybe 30 minutes late. But if you're looking at satellite data, you're supposed to look at it days in advance. Okay. So an hour, an hour and a half does not matter. Mm -hmm. So it's that important. Mm -hmm. Now, um, as for your question on how we can check the rainfall, we can check the current amount of rainfall that is happening right now. Like, for example, if we want to know, let's put up the, um, pag the, the track first. No? Mm -hmm. As of the moment, uh, per Pagasa's last update, the typhoon is somewhere over the Subic Bay area. Mm -hmm. So you would assume that so they, where in this it page? would be somewhere... Uh, here, in this area. Let's zoom in further. Okay. There, in this area. So that's the mm -hmm. last update that they gave mm -hmm. us. That they but gave how us, do you rather. know? Since the last uh, track of the typhoon is here with this dot. It and was then last there. And then uh, it did not follow that straight line. This, is basically, this basically tells you that from here, it will go to this end. But mm -hmm. it, does, it doesn't have to be a straight line. What actually mm -hmm. happened what is, is that it passed through a little bit south of uh, okay. Metro Manila uh -oh. and then went up towards Bataan. Mm -hmm. And then if you want a clear picture of what that is, all you have to do is look at, uh, look at the satellite data. Like for example, if you look at the empty satvis, mm -hmm. it will give you an actual picture of where the typhoon was. And where it's headed. Yeah, well, mm -hmm. where it's headed using the cyclone okay. update track. So this was the last update, 11.32. Mm -hmm. So if you look at it, uh, it's somewhere over, oops, sorry. It's somewhere over here in this area. Now, if you want to know the amount of rainfall that is currently happening in that area, you can <laughs> check it using the rainfall contour right here. Mm -hmm. Let's turn this off first. So there. Now, you have an, uh, a color scale here. This indicates... So this is the affected area that indicates the amount of rainfall that is currently happening. Mm -hmm. So dark, uh, what do you call this? Dark mm -hmm. blue indicates heavy rainfall. The lighter ones is uh, mm -hmm. moderate rain. Mm -hmm. so, so we notice here in Manila, it's clearing up a bit already. Yes, yes, yes. In uh -huh. the past hour, it has been clearing up. Now, if you want to look at uh, the exact amount of rainfall, this is where you need to look at the weather station. So I'll step over mm -hmm. here and then open, say, for example, a rain gauge here. There you go. And then okay. um, click here. And then it will give you the exact amount of rainfall. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It says, uh, this is in Bataan? Yes, it's in Bataan. Uh -huh. So it's raining there now. Uh -huh. And it, this will tell you how much rain is falling there. Mm -hmm. So let's say... I, I noticed earlier it said 3.5 yeah. millimeters it's of rain. It's that one. It's, oh, it's this one right here. Uh, this point over okay. there. Um, I'm not sure if you can see it on the television, mm -hmm. but yeah, that's what it indicates now. So earlier, you, you already have a history of what kind of rainfall occurred there. Mm -hmm. So right here, it's at the intense level mm -hmm. you know, earlier during the day. So it's helpful, let's say you're from lo looking at it from the national office, and then you need to know what kind of rainfall is happening in a particular area. You can look at this. Because certain areas, when it reaches an intense level of rainfall, the occurrence of flooding is higher. Mm -hmm. It okay. depends on the area. Mm -hmm. And then... You can also check which areas are flooded based on how much rain yes. a certain locality is getting. Exactly. Can we now go to the Subic Zambales area where uh, I think the typhoon is right now? Mm -hmm. So it's, uh, it's over here. 
uh, more important is uh, what will cause flooding is a uh, is a strong rainfall in a long period of time. So you can access that here as well. All you have to do is uh, pick the number of hours that it has mm -hmm. been raining. For example, okay. Three let's hours. say for the past three hours. So, oops, sorry. So the past three hours it's actually been lesser. It's just that in the past hour it has been stronger. Okay. So that's how you will look at it. So let's say you're here in Manila. You want to know what's happening there. You, need, you can view it using that. Because usually when there's a typhoon, power lines are down, um, internet is down, communications are down. So there's really no way for you to access the area, mm -hmm. communicate with them. So using this system, you can, you can mm -hmm. actually mm -hmm. view things, what's happening. Mm -hmm. uh, and explain to us the, the color scheme oh, again. There you go. Okay. The color scheme is, uh, no, this is a light, moderate, heavy, intense, and then torrential. Mm -hmm. So it, it, it's that simple. Whenever a color indicates uh, red, it's torrential there. Mm -hmm. uh, so far, we're seeing wala nang torrential As of or the intense in rainfall. As the entire in Philippines. Wait, let's turn this off first. Wala pa naman. But I, I think uh, with Typhoon Glenda, we also need to look at the wind, no? More, mm -hmm. Maybe more so than mm -hmm. the rain. Kasi it, uh, according to Pagasa, it's registering uh, 140 kilometers mm -hmm. per hour mm -hmm. winds. Mm -hmm. That's very fast to give an idea yeah. for okay, to the viewers how strong it is. Okay, give us an idea. Kasi as of last night naman, yeah. it was 150 yeah. kph. So how strong is that exactly? There's really not much of a difference between 140 and 150. Okay. Whether it's 140, 150, 130. It can topple. It can topple power lines. It can mm -hmm. uproot trees. So to give you an idea, all you have to do is look at the videos of what happened in Metro mm -hmm. Manila. Mm -hmm. So it's that powerful. Mm -hmm. No, it's the, the wind it, here. You cannot. You cannot see it, see from, it. From, from from this system. Okay. But all you have to do is look at the. Uh, all you have, for example, you look at this one, and then usually the winds, the rain is strongest in the what you call the uh, eye wall. The eye that wall. That is the, the area perimeter of exactly. Oh, okay, the the center, uh, and then you you have to check the perimeter yeah. from where the eye is. Yeah, okay. when it says 140, it's probably strongest there. So that mm -hmm. uh, even using a satellite data, you can really indicate which those areas are, so you can prepare more. And mm -hmm. you need to look at that way in advance. So it's better that way. In fact, um, what we're looking at now is uh, wouldn't make uh, sense for us here in Manila because it has already passed. Okay. This tool is used for preparedness. Um, once it has already passed, Another system is in place. That's when people start expanding. You you don't need, need to use this anymore. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Can you tell us how do you check the storm surge warnings? Because as it, a day before the typhoon made landfall, you mm -hmm. already issued uh, ah, warnings yeah. on possible storm surges mm -hmm. in certain coastal areas. Okay, what what we do is we don't show it here. However, we do we do simulations in our office. And we do that uh, whenever there's a, whenever there's an advisory that comes mm -hmm. out, and then we post it here. Um, okay. Excuse me. Just click on the blog, and then it should show you here. For example, list of muni municipalities storm surge forecast models. Mm -hmm. So it will give an indication mm -hmm. of the kind of uh, storm surge that may or may not occur in your area. So, oops. How do you? Anyway, it's somewhere down here. Okay, it's down there. Uh, there there's a list there which says... Um, um, Yun know, yung uh, area specific. Opo, yung area okay. specific. Sa Bataan, ganito. Sa Metro Manila, ganito. And, uh, sorry, not Metro Manila. Mm -hmm. Sabi niya sa inyo, Manila. And how high Botas. it could possibly get. Yes. It okay. may not be the exact height that will happen. No? Mm -hmm. But it will give you an indication that storm surge is very likely to happen. Like what happened in, uh, in Samar, some parts of Bicol. Storm surge did happen there. And uh, it was shown here. Yeah. Okay, thank you so much for helping us out with this Project NOAA site. Yeah. Oscar Lizardo with us today. He's the Chief Science Research Specialist of the DOST's Project NOAA.